So we begin with Lyra, kind of uh, mid to late afternoon or early evening. Uh, as you are finishing your vision through the bird that you had fly down to the roots of the tree, uh -huh. uh, suddenly you hear a loud crackle, almost like lightning coming your way, then a flash of light and a deafening blast in your ears. The bird you were just sensing through had been killed. Oh by my an God. unknown source as you were seeing through its eyes. And then Ow. just as you come to your own shifter senses, you feel a firm hand on your sh shoulder. It is an Aguna guard. Uh, yes, can I help you? Madam, I'm afraid you have to come with me. Uh, all right, where are we going? Hmm. Well, we are going to take you to the Lord on suspicions of unsupervised tampering with and close examination of restricted portions of the life tree without official permission from approved personnel. Oh, well that's certainly quite serious, although I was hoping to meet with the Lord anyway, as I am a pilgrim. Indeed. Nice. I'm glad you seem cooperative. Please come along. Well, all right then. And you follow the guards, who take you down a less populated street, fewer and fewer people as you continue on your journey. Uh, several guards surround you now, and eventually, uh, they stop your escorting in a barren part of the province. A run-down, empty street under many buildings. And they begin to draw their weapons as the visage fades and their illusion reveals their true form, House Baztan soldiers. Oh! oh. You are well. surrounded. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Well, that's a little bit easier then. The lead guard kind of gives a few hand gesture commands, and the one seems to have manacles and is coming towards you to try and clap you in chains. Is there anything Great. you wish to do? Yes, I'm going to wild shape into an eagle and fly away. <laughs> ah. Okay, you wild shape. I'm level eight, baby. I have a flying speed now. <laughs> into an eagle, you fly up. She's trying to escape. Get her! And one is going to try and cast a spell on you. Make a dexterity save with your eagle uh, stats. Oh, yes. Let me just pull up. Uh, it's a plus two. It might be. Let's see. Are you guessing or are you telling? <laughs> uh, yes. Dexterity is plus two uh, for eagles. I'll just I'll roll mine and we'll just add mm -hmm. plus two in post. Okie dokie. Ooh. Well, that's not so good. Ooh. You, as you try to fly up immediately, you see a you net go over you, just shoof, pulling you down. And one tries to hold you as you're struggling and kind of flapping with all your might hmm. as you're okay. trapped in this net. And then Great. you see one guard just fall over shoof, as it clang onto the pavement. Huh. And then the guards are looking around. What was that? Another one falls over, and then a smoke bomb, the net goes free. You break loose and start flying your way out. Huh. And then you also hear a commotion now in the streets below you. As you are flying above, you are free, but amid the smoke, you hear pinging and clanging and punching and grunting. Well, hmm. Well, now I'm less inclined to immediately just book it because somebody here seems to be helping me out. Uh, hmm. Can I like perch on a nearby roof and uh, like try and see what's going on in the commotion? Like some sort of yes, check of you perception can. perhaps? Uh, no perception check needed. As you oh, go and perch on a nearby roof, it seems as though the guards- I would have advantage on it. Just saying. Uh, if you, all right, yeah, you, you may, all right. <laughs> well, you all really, right really want to, all right. Uh, uh, it's plus four. Uh, oh, which is the same as mine. How nice. Oh shit, plus four with advantage, all right, let's go. Holy shit, yeah. okay, you don't have to wait. I'm gonna say with that high of a perception, you're able to peer through the smoke and see what's <laughs> going on without having to wait for it to dissipate. You mm -hmm. see a an elven man who is fighting kind of in some leathers uh, dagger in hand, parrying and pinging and slashing away at the guards. But you can tell at this rate, he is losing. Oh, all right then. 
you get such a good view at him that you can see that he's kind of got tannish olive skin, um, <laughs> curly dark hair, and is wearing a very kind of rough and tumble put together leather outfit. No way! Is it our boy? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh my goodness! Uh, okay then, yeah, uh, yeah. It's it's time to it's time to help out our boy. Uh, if only I had access to all art from previously, <laughs> so I could confirm. <laughs> Let's see what to do, what to do. I'm sure we'll find out in due time. <laughs> um, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you do have that choice. Nah. Assassinate. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to use my second wild shape and turn it into a panther. Uh, Ooh. Okay. Uh, let me just load up. I found the button that was making all of my panther rolls DM, uh, DM only so hopefully if I have to roll on this now it'll actually work. Awesome. Um, but yes, so one cool thing about being a panther is it gives me a move called pounce. If I move at least 20 feet straight towards a creature and then hit it with a claw attack, uh, I can knock them prone. I'm currently on a roof. Does <laughs> that's, that include 20 feet straight down? That's plenty of space. Perfect. Then yes, I would like to start attacking some of the guys that are being rude to this man. All right. Is that is. like a, an attack roll or something? Yes. Uh, I need to hit it with a claw attack. So I'm just going to leap and attempt to hit with a claw. So that is boop. Whoa. All right. Yay. Yeah. You see one. He is the elf is kind of holding his dagger still as a sword is like drawn on him. And he is just holding it, you know, like the, the dual thing where two weapons are pressed against each other. Mm hmm. And he is losing, he's kneeled down, and the guard is ready. He pulls his other hand out to reach for a hand axe, ready to swing, and he hears your roar from behind. What, what, what is that? And then you poof, slam down on him, just poof, dent on his armor. Mm -hmm. And uh, the roguish elf gives a little two-finger salute as thanks. <laughs> the other guards uh, hear more voices coming. What's going on over there? And they they realize their cover has been blown and they start to escape. Do you wish to pursue? Well, I've got this one prone. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we really need more than one. Mm. We want to figure out what they're up to. All right. You keep that one down, but you see yep. the roguish elf is also getting a little bit skittish and ah, starts to... In that case... Yeah, if, if he starts to book it, I'll just uh, I'll throw one last growl in the face of the prone one, and then follow the uh, the roguish elf. Ah, you're gonna follow him. Okay. Yeah. The fate of the Baztan knight is going to be left unknown then, as you run and pursue this roguish elf that almost tr is trying to lose you, but your uh, panther agility is able to keep up with him until he eventually stops at one place, kind of panting and turns to you. Well, it's good to see that you've kept up your stamina. <laughs> I'll uh, turn back. And this armor suits you rather better, I think. Uh, he pulls down his mask and smiles. It's Edmund, the knight in shining armor. Yay, of what you whoa, Edmund. no way. That's so Edmund. crazy. He's a roguish Edmund. <laughs> roguish Edmund. Uh, not, he shrugs his shoulders and scratches the back of his head a bit. Uh, not the greatest disguise, I admit, but I felt there's enough elves up north that I shouldn't worry about blending into the crowd. Yes, and for the most part, this is quite the quiet city. Yes, it seems so. Here, come. There's an eatery around here that should hide us for the while being while the commotion dies down. That's as good a plan as any, I suppose. And he takes you kind of around the corner into a denser part of the city. Uh, there's more people now, more eyes, so you are safer from any further uh, sneaky patrols. And you see he brings you to just a typical tavern, nothing special, yeah. kind of a rundown place. I'm glad to have run into you before you ran off again, and uh, I wanted to give you a report. Oh, yes? Firstly, that um, being the protective escort I was originally sworn to be, I just wanted to uh, come help out both you and the rest of the pilgrims. Well, it's quite appreciated. Things have gotten rather 
cloak and dagger all of a sudden. It seems so. Word has spread that you and the rest of the pilgrims are attempting a coup and allying with the blot. All rumors, of course, and no comment from the lords yet, so at least there's that, but how long that will last, no one can say. Hmm. But uh. the good news that I wanted to share, some connections you've made across your journey means no small amount of folk are on your side. To Gamura in its entirety, I'm happy to say. Oh, well, that's but a pleasant surprise. But also a handful of others you seem to have assisted along the way. A small town south of Nubiskai, Lord Sergei sent a missive giving his support. No word from Sachi, unfortunately, but I guess time will tell. Yes, I hope things are safe back home. Those are strange rumors to be spreading on their own. I rather suspect it's some sort of purposeful ploy. Foul play, to be sure. He kind of looks around, kind of scratching his arm a bit. But... Uh, mm, I did... I apologize. I did want to ask a more personal question, if it's not too much to pry. Yes? I wanted to check in how you were all holding up you and the rest of the pilgrims. What are the status of your friends, emotionally? Uh, well, that can be a difficult thing to read at times. Uh, presently, we're a little bit scattered, somewhat intentionally so. There's a... Well, up to this afternoon, I would have called it an uneasy truce, where Lord Tejero seems to have Realized he can't simply declare us enemies of the realm categorically. Must currently rep uh, respect our status as pilgrims and what we wish to do with our time in the city as long as we don't tread too far out of line. Then again, recent events are causing me to reevaluate that somewhat. And... It's difficult to say. The severity of our quest has... Increased rather suddenly. And I'm not entirely sure what the right thing to do is in this situation. And yet you should soldier on anyway. Well, I certainly know it would be wrong to stop trying. He sighs a bit. You seem so confident and self-assured. How can you know? I've, I've spent a majority of my life so far training to become a knight so that so many people providing for me, raising me, training me, and Asking nothing in return. I, I only want to do what they've been training to do, and I only wanted to make them proud, so after my dismissal of being a knight and going back on my word, what do I do if I don't? What if I fail them? How do you do it? Well, I can't claim that I don't share those same anxieties, though I've been assured by the only person whose pride matters to me, that there is very little I could do to make her lose that. He I... looks outside a little bit, uh, seems to be reminiscing deep in thought about something, perhaps a far off land. Oh. He also takes the moment to peer out the window a little bit more uh, intentionally. The gods should be dispersed by now. Here, and he hands you a piece of parchment. Ooh. A mapped route and time code for their patrols, so you won't have to be on your toes as much. Oh, very helpful, thank you. And you'll be able to point out which ones are more false gods. Yes, that'll be quite useful. And with a combination of Lyra, your thing, and Word, your birds, you now have no fear of any authorities tracking you down for the rest hey. of your time in Aguna. Still, still, we still. Did. Yay. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. From combat. Yes. <laughs> oh. I do hope this will be helpful, and uh, I will be remaining in the city until you and the others depart. I will see if I can make my way to Quarencia afterwards to provide what assistance I can from the shadows, but know that you have friends in many places who will stand by you, whatever the case may be. Thank you, truly, and I I hope you're finding some more satisfaction in your current line of work. Well, for sure. Turns out perhaps night work was not the best suited for me after all. Maybe that might be a good thing. We all have our talents. You take care, Master Labor. 
and you as well. He gives it a little bow, departs, and blends into the crowd with one person passing behind him, almost me- completely vanishing him from view. Ah, he did, he did the classic. <laughs> the, like a bus goes in front of him and he's fully gone. <laughs> yep. Great, that was crazy. I'm going to go back to the hotel and tell everybody. <laughs> Guess yeah, who I, nearly I got murdered? <laughs> that's about the last major thing that draw that pulls your guys' attention and you are free to kind of explore the rest of the city for the rest of the day, but otherwise you can call the day here and get your rests in. Yeah, I think that's going to be my move at least. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want to tell them the story of what I, my day's been. It's been crazy. <laughs> I want you guys to read my book. So we're going to come back and find like a little gift wrap book with no note, which means it was from Word. <laughs> I, I think I still have my black paint, so I will just put like a little handprint on the cover of the book. Aw. I think just I can't. was... I, I got back first. Um, because I went home because I couldn't find who I was looking for. Also, I'm probably like 30 feet below the window just waiting. Aww. Aww. We're masters of surreptitiousness. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, if I remember correctly, Lara, you were per- you paid for the Archon Suite, which gives you additional uh, spell slots the next day. Oh, yeah. Which will be useful if you go into the library. Extremely. Uh, Let's see. I'm going to pull up the NPC oh, yeah, again. I have a cool library card. Yeah, uh, plus one, level one, two, and three spell slots is yep. in my notes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe we can find what you're looking for, Buck. Yeah, maybe. Um, are we? So are we all back um, at the hotel? I would say so, just about now, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, that's definitely where I'm going. Uh, I get back and uh, when I see Lara coming in, I like have the book in my hand. Um, <laughs> it seems as though our little friend has been um, busy. Ah. Hope, hope you're. I hold up the book to show like the black uh, handprint. I realize that he couldn't write, so I assume this is his way of telling us that this is from him. I haven't really seen too many other kobolds around here, so I don't exactly know what else this would mean. Other yeah. than that he wanted us to look at this. It must be important that... He must know that it's important. I hope he didn't just get a book that he wants us to read. But I decided not to read it until the rest of you got here. Ah, well. No time like the present, I suppose. What's well, one more cursed arcane secret today? <laughs> um, I'll open the book. All right. Yeah, let's crack this sucker open. You open it, uh, open it up. Open it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Runes of eye implosion. <laughs> and you see inside that the scribblings are not of a traditional story or a story at all. Markings, various words in common, linked up with various other symbols that you do not recognize, uh, perhaps a language. This is a cipher key. Whoa. So something to unscramble a code of some kind. Huh. Well, it doesn't look like this is going to be much use without whatever it is we need to cipher. I don't know exactly how to explain that to Word, though. I don't know exactly if he needs us to decipher this for something. Wait, if it's symbols, what? Oh, Might hello, Fritz. to do this a lot better than us. I, we all are here, I'm just guessing. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Buck was waiting for all of us. Came through the window. Are, it's good to see you. <laughs> yeah, I've just been quiet in the corner. Sorry. Um, if it's symbols, we're might actually be better at sorting this than we, we would be. Hmm. Well, I think it might be best if we all get together at least at some point. I mean, we... I think the idea was that we were all going to go see the dragon together, right? At the library? Wait. Okay, this is really stupid. Hmm? And I don't know if this is true. Hmm? Is it Thieves' Camp? Looking it over, believe... it's clearly not Thieves' Camp. Thieves' Camp is just okay, another just... form of common, in a way. Heard... It uses common yeah. words. I've heard Thieves' Camp. Yeah. yeah, it's because you mentioned, like, the... the common words mixed in so like yeah yeah. no it's essentially it looks like a spreadsheet in a way so it's it's mapping common words to symbols is um so there we picked up a lot of like sneaky back alley paperwork from our jaunt 
through the the secret blot torture dungeon thingy. Yes. Did any of that, was it written in a code that looks like this or? No, it does not. All those okay. notes were written in typical common. Mm. We could probably find out in the library. I, uh, I got a little special ticket and I'm pulling out my library <laughs> card. Like I'm so proud of it. My goodness. <laughs> Is it, is it different than the library cards that we got earlier? It does, yeah. yes. This one is hollow foil. Wow. Whoa, limited edition. <laughs> mint, mint to new. Wow. <laughs> what is it doing outside the binder? Uh, where'd you, where'd you get, I, I like hold it up to the light to examine the holographic nature. Where'd you, where'd you pick this up? Uh, I met some people. Person. Okay. I'm at, okay. A, I'm at a person. Um, and we had a chat. Um, Immediate suspicion. I may have. I may have <laughs> like looking at Lara. <laughs> I may have leveraged our strained relationship and oh, used no. some guilt trippingness to maybe get what I wanted. Ah. Uh, I'm not proud, but hey, I have a shiny library card, so... Was she as disappointing as the last parent? Worse. Oh. Worse than the last parent? That's almost impressive. The last parent at least said sorry. Oh. Oh, buddy. Oh. Wonderful. Do you think she'll be there when we go to the library tomorrow? I'm asking for no reason. <laughs> I hand Lara the, the, the card. I, I think she would be very useful to us. As much as she was um, a character, to say the least, she is a very, very smart and powerful woman. Can I run down and like grab Word in my cloak and bring him up? Like, <laughs> like... I would say so, yeah. Thanks to the um, like knowledge and oh. assist from like the combination of the patrol routes that Leira got and mm -hmm. the birds helping word, words birds. Words oh, birds. birds. I would say that stealth is very easily for you. You're able to like sneak word in. Is that where you're gonna ask uh, Logan? Did you wanna oh. be a part of this conversation? No, I, I just actually recognize that I still have two levels of exhaustion, but oh, uh, I've been yeah. busy all day, so I didn't have Oh, we have got to post you up in this nice bed. <laughs> yeah. Um. Maybe we should. Do you want me to go get word? I think I know about where he could be. I could, with the information that you got, we could probably get him up here. I think that would be wise. There may even be a way to oh. bring him with us to the library, incognito, as it were. Right. Um. Really mm -hmm. important information. Um. There might be another way to get rid of the blot. Oh. Go on. Um, Should okay. we have word here for this? Um, yeah, get, get word. <laughs> All right, I, let me, I'll, I'll just step out for a second. <laughs> just reach out the window I with the bugbear arms, <laughs> hoist him by the scruff of his neck. I don't know why. I imagine you just going out the window. Go, pss, 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 pss. <laughs> word, pss, pss, pss. I come sauntering around the corner step. like a cat. <laughs> uh, I sure would I, be a good day to see a word. Did we come up with a secret? Wait, but I can run back in. Do we, do we come up with a secret catchphrase? Um, is there like a high power that I can? All right, okay. I run back outside. I should and I, miss my boss. <laughs> oh, gotta! I'll stand by the um, the edge of the where the vines roots are. Oh, sure, sure. I forgot. I gotta go and pick up the dry cleaning for the boss. <laughs> That feel boss like a, a sure slight, does need his dry cleaning. Slight pain in your thigh. <laughs> there's a tiny little man standing there with a dagger up to your thigh. That's the most obvious way you could have called me. All right, I didn't. I, 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 make, I can make it up to you. Look, I got you a hat. And I gave him. I yes. give him the hat that I got. The fluffy Yay. hat. Yeah, this the fluffy hat. hat. Oh yeah, we're just showering you with gifts, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> I'll share what it does. Uh, Fancy yeah, that's hat. right. You you re-enchanted it. Right? I re-enchanted it. Yeah. yeah. Also, I've realized Fritz's oh. voice has just slowly become my more like nasally, like high-pitched version <laughs> of like my voice that I do. <laughs> <laughs> the 
voice. Uh, I'm fresh. <laughs> every voice settles into its most comfortable arrangement eventually. You look really tired. We need to get you into bed, but also we've got important stuff to discuss. I honestly forgot, but now that you mention it, my body is practically on the ground. Okay, I'll... <laughs> Right. And then like I, I, you have your poncho, right? Yeah, I got my poncho. <laughs> I'll like compact the fluffy hat and climb into your poncho. Backpack Let's mode. Go. Let's go. <laughs> and then I walk in, I saunter in, yeah, da, 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 and then I open up the door. Yep. And I go inside. And I go into our room. <laughs> Everyone's back together. I fall out of him like an oh, apple. Back <laughs> I'm back. Arms and legs still. He comes up. out of me like a like a chest burster. Through <laughs> 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 uh, the neck I of the poncho. Feel so good. <laughs> and I emerge. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, so I missed you. I missed you too. And he kisses your kneecap. Aww. So, what does the book say? It's a cipher that would allow us to decipher some sort of code that does not seem familiar. Nobody recognizes the code. Yeah, you know how, like, you can't read normal? We can't read whatever we're supposed to read unless we have this. I don't know, should any of us make any checks, or is this just a thing we've never seen before? You may. You may make an arcana or history check, if you so wish. Ooh, uh, like, so many different types of reading. I'm not making the check. Those are both equally bad for me, but I'll give it a shot. History's just memory. I'll try. I'll try. Woo! No! Okay. It was oh, on the 20 and it fell over! I will say there's not much you can glean with a 9 arcana. Boom. Unfortunately. Can I investigate the book to see if there are certain pages with more wear and tear to them? You know what? See what pages might be more important. That's a good Ooh. idea. Yeah, you may give me an investigation if you want. How do I love it? You're really dungeoning the dragons today, boy. Wow, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's almost like when I finally eat well, sleep well, um, and go outside, <laughs> I'm awake. <laughs> Your brain is on. That's oh, no! no! <laughs> we flew too Wait, close to the do sun. I, do I? Do No, I don't have an inspiration. <laughs> well, the good news is we're just rolling 19 with a plus okay. zero. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say, symbols. with that <laughs> critical failure... You flip through the book, trying to find. Yes. Oh no! Don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> it falls out the window. Trying to find Pause, what you please. can. I'm sorry, I'm clumsy. And you feel as though you might have found something, maybe a sign, some, maybe a page that someone had looked at more than the others, and you make a rip in the paper. <laughs> About halfway down, it distorts some of the symbols on one of the cipher pages. Ugh. It's gonna be now a little bit <laughs> more difficult to read when the chance comes. Oh. Word. Oh, beans. With that, My history down. check. <laughs> you, these symbols, you can't read, but you've seen symbols. You've seen languages before. <laughs> I have memories. Yeah. What are words? <laughs> and you know for but a fact symbols. that these symbols are not a spoken language. These are not symbols you've ever seen in any sort of book whatsoever, concluding and come to the conclusion that this is either a language that is lost or something that is purely used for code. It is not something to cast. It is not something to speak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen any of these symbols in recent recollection. No. Okay. All right, you know well, what? With a nine, actually, with a nineteen, I'm gonna <laughs> say you come to the theory that it potentially could be connected to another certain lost civilization. Yeah, I was, I was thinking. I don't know if we've seen any old DOC in writing. Huh. Especially mm. since your uh, your little encounter with the mural that you painted with the former dragon. Mm. Wait, do you think oh yeah. Hmm? I have a faint idea of what this might be. I, I assume it's kind of like a non-magic translation guide for two different types of writing. And we normally see your type of words like on paper and stuff. I think this could be like the Ocean writing. Oh. Well, it might be easier if we knew where you'd acquired this book. Oh yeah, I, I stole it. I, oh. I trailed some of our greatest enemies in town, and I waited until they were gone, and I acted in shadows. They definitely did not want this to be found. Uh, real quick, I mm -hmm. have noted that I marked uh, Aliandra's book. That's like her ledger, right? That's not the one that I grabbed? No, that was this one. Oh, okay. So, well, I'll never mm -hmm. know where she is. But 
This was Aleandra's most prized possession. Now it's one of ours. Mm. It'll probably help in the library. That's my guess. Well, that greatly increases the possibility that it's related to old Deosia. Uh, oh, on that note, I got in trouble with the law earlier today. <laughs> Me too. Oh. Well, a brief moment. Yes. That's unusual for you. If yes, well... You know what they say about curiosity. Anyway, it was House Baz 10, so I don't particularly value their judgment. Uh, but there was a certain amount of uh, deception and scuffle involved due to a small amount of magical investigation I thought I was being surreptitious in doing, but apparently I wasn't. Uh, but it's all good. Also, Sir Edmund is in the city. Isn't it illegal to impersonate the guard? You know, oh. probably. That would explain why they ran away as soon as uh, the commotion became public. Yeah, that's, that's an act of, like, international treason. Should we tell? <laughs> well, I'm not entirely sure what benefit we would have. Also, it was technically semi-definitely illegal, the thing that I did, so maybe we shouldn't draw attention to it. But I did learn for a fact that the tree's uh, unwholesome origins are... Uh, Written on its face, as it were. What the roots that? have the roots have faces on them. The roots of the tree below oh, the city have have the, visible the, human the faces, that were faces into screaming in torment. Right, right, yes, right, right, yes, right. that Why yes. We seen the faces before. I suspect they may all be only be present on the roots, and this is probably why investigating the tree in any capacity is profoundly illegal. So all towns knew I would say no. The people I spoke to who curate the winds around this place indicated that it took quite a bit of uh, diplomacy and groveling before they were even allowed to study the currents as they were, let alone the tree themselves. And the uh, incriminating evidence is very far below the city and guarded in some respect. The bird I borrowed the vision of uh, appears to have exploded shortly after I directed it. To its location, so I'm still sort of grappling with that. Wait, where'd you, where'd you send the bird to? The bottom of the city, where the wind emerges from the ground, and the roots are exposed. Yes. Anyway, I didn't think I was being particularly overt, but I know there are magical ways of detecting that sort of thing, and House Baztan is rather sorcerer-minded. Or it could just be a, co a collective barrier, something that doesn't pick a target, it just happens if something crosses that barrier. That's possible, although it appeared rather targeted in the brief moments I had to observe it. Well, no, there, there may be people posted down there, although one element of warning that I received is that the roots are so intensely magical that it causes magic near them to misfire, so it may be difficult to guard them in any meaningful sense. I think that maybe we might be able to get some answers if we go talk to them. Uh, Santa Loria. Maranzio Santa Loria, the, the dragon of Aguna. Oh, the dragon, yeah. He yes. he came and spoke to us and hey. kind of indicated that he... It basically seemed like he understood that there was some stuff going on. Okay. Is he on our side, or...? I would venture a guess that yes, he is. To as the much extent as that we have sides, I mean... It didn't seem like he was too keen to let us get attacked by whatever is kind of chasing us out here, whether that's the vast hands or the underthrown. He seemed to be wanting to help help us. I don't know well, if that's the impression you guys got. Well, while we're discussing the question of sides, there do appear to be rumors spreading throughout Elinthi as a whole that the pilgrims may have allied ourselves with the blot. I was assured that true. not necessarily, and certainly not to the concept of the blot that the public has. It's very potentially damaging for our ability to progress on our quest as appointed, or our own objectives, whatever they may be. But I've been informed that some of the people who we've aided in our journey are taking our side, so... This whole thing seems to be happening out from under us, but if it does come down to it, I don't think we'll be lacking in allies. Well, we've got one more heart to get before we, you know, end up trying to figure out what we have to do. I say that we focus on that while we still have Aguna, I 
guess, neutral to us at this point? I would say so. And I'd very much like to get in that library if we can. I can help. Before we get run out or whatever's going to happen. I think we should maybe get you nerds to some books before we talk to a dragon. Just so we don't get barred if we have a bad conversation. Are they not in the same place? I, th- I think that's where he asked us to meet. If I'm, I may be Yes, incorrect, he asked you to meet him at the library first thing in the morning the next day. Because I well, think he perhaps. has a different dragon spot, but I think he yeah. does want, did ask for us to meet him there. Well, perhaps we could arrive earlier than first thing in the morning and get in a little light reading before our appointed meeting. If, uh... Hmm? I, I am wearing a very strange outfit. <laughs> he doesn't have his uh, signature coat anymore. Yes, yeah. uh, that is I'm one option. <laughs> leathers that I probably have just covered in any kind of like powdered paint or flowers that I've picked, and I'm wearing a very big fuzzy hat. <laughs> well, that's uh, <laughs> that's very unique. Inconspicuous. Uh, <laughs> Yes, uh, by way of an alternative possibility. Would you particularly mind being polymorphed? Into what? I suppose that's rather the question, isn't it? As I load up D&D Beyond and filter <laughs> the it, monsters by really, challenge rating. Uh, is it really too much of a question? I mean, you're going to get transformed into some sort of creature. I feel like it's going to be equally unpleasant no matter what That's the creature not is. not true at all. Can no, you how would you not. Know, how would you know? Has this happened to you before? As long as my soul is there and I can fly, I will be at peace. Uh, okay. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> but just for the record, transforming into an animal is far from a painful experience. Let me know if you'd like to try it sometime. I'm already well, no, I mean... <laughs> This I just think a... it might be better if we could just like shave my back and then we could fashion like a beard. <laughs> I think that would be much better. You think that would be I mean, better? I would be <laughs> funnier for me to see happen. Look, <laughs> if you're struggling to shave your own back, I'm not, I'm not really willing to help. I'm sorry. Well, I can get most of it. My my arms are pretty long. <laughs> How flexible is a book? Can get I can get most of the spots. I don't think because we have. Oh, Why in God's name does D&D Beyond make it easier to find people's homebrew than to find <laughs> the actual fucking Very monster strange. manual? Yeah. I don't necessarily need to. Uh, I don't. I don't need to shave my back. I shed. <laughs> <laughs> during the winter time, I get a coat during the winter time. I'm just uh, consulting I, I my think... mind palace to see what I could turn word into at this point. Did well, Fritz give bird. me the? turtle cloak oh yeah the one that uh, if you go prone your ac is improved yeah up by two that's yeah. silly. all of these options are enormous and unfortunately sperm whale is not one of them <laughs> oh i have to be attuned to them cool i will take the time during our conversation to become one with my turtle cloak okay so let's see you're level eight so you can have a creature up Three. to a challenge rating of level eight Yes, I'm looking through the list and uh, really? yes, yes, That's I can. That's how polymorph works. Is that yeah. how polymorph works? Yep. Yes, which means uh. my plan for if any of us are in severe danger in combat is anyone who T-Rex. goes down gets turned into a T-Rex. Yes, yeah. uh, since we're all uh, level eight now. But uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of options in here. The easiest would be flying snake challenge rating one eighth. <laughs> Here, I've, uh, I've linked the- Is it the beasts or is it any Beasts. It's any beast. beast. I, I can't do any uh, monster. That would be I've, a little uh, bit busted. I've listed- a huge, giant crab. I've put a list with the- Yes, the but filters. we're trying to be surreptitious and get you in that way. Uh, you could be a stegosaurus. You could be a bear. <laughs> Can I be a chocobo? Uh, I think oh, Axe Peak is on here, Chocobos right? can't fly. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, also, yeah. presumably we're going to be passing you off as uh, Fritz's ranger animal companion, so like something so yeah, mildly oh. unobtrusive would be good. Make me what my spirit looks like. A snake. A snake with wings. Yeah, I think winged snake is going to be the, the <laughs> most painless option. Winged snake. Yeah, challenge rating 1-8. Amazing. 
that is horrifying. Okay. <laughs> I step back and sort of bounce on my, my toes and shake my hands. I'm ready. It's not going to be right now. It'll be tomorrow. Oh, it won't okay. last that long. I thought we were going to like visit there tonight and then maybe see him in the morning, but that'll give us more time to look at whatever picture books they have. I don't know if we want to spend an entire night in the library. That's fair. I'm actually very tired now that I think about it. Yes. This bed is very comfy. <laughs> I'm excited to have a pet snake. I'm not excited to see that happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exactly a pet, but whatever floats your boat. Crawls Simply <laughs> because currently you are crawls under your bed. supposed to be dead, so right. you know, we sort of have to make do with what we have. We have a plan, then. You're going to polymorph word into a, a flying snake before you go into the library. <laughs> yes. I yes, I that. am. <laughs> All right. He wanted I a fly wanted a speed. Who am I to deny him? <laughs> This is about to be a flying mistake. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I'm excited. I'm getting a pet. I'm 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 over the moon right now. I'm so happy. Hell yeah. Word Uh, isn't already our pet. (laughs) (laughs) I'm the mascot and the leader. This is the all furry campaign. None of us can throw stones in that department. (laughs) Fair enough. Yeah. They help people. Back to the game, then. You guys Oy. complete your long rest word. You are now down to <clears> only <throat> one level of exhaustion. It's almost done. Yay. Almost gone. If I fight, I won't lose immediately. <laughs> uh. And uh, morning comes, and the day is yours. Today, you shall be meeting with Maranzio at the library to see what it is he has tasked for you to gain his heart. Very well, then. We're gonna have to smooch him. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't help it. I can't help it. Um, I guess we could just head there, unless there's anything else anyone wants to do. Oh, I did kind of want to look in the... Well, I guess we're gonna look in the library whilst we're there, so why not? Yeah, we're gonna go to... Yeah. Did he, didn't he <clears throat> give us, like, a floor to go to, or no? Just to meet him there. Oh, just to meet him there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so the polymorph does have a time limit of one hour, just as a heads up. I think that's enough time. Should I trail you on the way there? That's enough yeah. time for you to make it to the library, I think. Yes, I believe so. Oh. Okay. So is this gonna hurt? I sincerely doubt it. Okay. Tell you what, if it does, you can bite me. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I, I will... Can I the word, like, bite her, and then take your wings? <laughs> Does it hurt? Does it hurt you when you turn into animals? No, but I don't use this spell to do it. It's an innate ability that I gain by studying nature and its magics. Okay. So yes, Ward, you can choose to fail this and become a flying snake. Here it comes. He cast. <laughs> yep. I... Oh my brain! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Larry, shut it off! Shut it off! He's being dramatic. It's fine. <laughs> I assume. Like and shrink into a snake. And I'm gonna dart for the window. Oh, <laughs> oh! Okay. My my mental scores massively dropped. Oh. I don't think it automatically makes you. Uh, well, let it me does. see. It, it does. Two uh, intelligence. Your mental ability scores are replaced by the statistics of the chosen bee. I only retain my alignment and personality, and my personality is wanting to fly out the window. I <laughs> grab at him. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Beat my dexterity save. Come here. Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shoot, hold on. Did we take a long rest? You did, yes. yes. Okay, because I have to get back my... Now, so, does being polymorphed also replace your exhaustion? Oh. It doesn't oh. say anything about that. Mm-hmm. That's up to you, Joe. Hmm. I'm going to say no, then. Oops. What, so what am I rolling? So he's a very so sleepy little snake. A very tired snake. Mm-hmm. Uh, is this just dis- dexterity? Oh. <laughs> okay, you grab it's me. It's not meant to be. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You grab him. I don't know how this uh, body yeah. works. <laughs> All right. Come here. Hold, hold still. Can he, can he understand me? I suppose that's a good question. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to bite at you. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> um, 
Do I have something I can like put you in? Oh man, these things are good at biting. Whoa. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what, did I'm you so do a bunch sorry. of damage to me? Uh, you rolled a crit! Yeah. Roll <laughs> 3d8 and we're gonna double it. My god. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's 3d4. Can I... I'll just do six. Oh, 3d4, no, no, not 3d8. No, no. Hold on, hold on. I have the lucky thing. I can use it at an attack roll made against me. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess so. Um, <laughs> Um, oh, and you are you are exhausted as well, so you're gonna have to roll that again. Oh, uh, this is an attack roll. It's not. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, yeah. Uh, never no, mind. Yeah, you... it's it's just first level is only well, ability. I'm uh, rolling a d. Skills, roll yeah. another d20 because I'm gonna use a lucky okay. point. <laughs> so you don't hurt me. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I <laughs> Lady <laughs> Luck die. does not like me. <laughs> no, she's not. This is fascinating. So, 3d4. <laughs> Oh, wait. It didn't. 3D more. This yeah. isn't at all how my wild <laughs> shape works. Ow! I'm learning this was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, there we go. <laughs> so, plus one, that's nine. And if you're doubling it, that's like 16. I could use my blade mail to, as a reaction, return the full damage back to you, but I don't want that to oh, kill that you. my form. <laughs> Ruin the polymorph. If not it does more it. than five hit points, you'll just turn back okay. into word. <laughs> all right, I take eight damage. No, and 16. all the commotion causes some knocking. Oh, I take 16? Yes. <laughs> oh, my crit. God. Okay. All this commotion all right. and yelling and, and slithering and trying to grab Snake Lake. <laughs> you, hear, <laughs> you hear a knocking at the door and the muffled voice of the innkeeper. Hello? Is everything all right in there? Oh, uh, every, everything's fine. My pet snake got out. <laughs> Help, it's poisonous. <laughs> oh. uh, technically, it's venomous. Poisonous would be if you bit it. <laughs> I am gonna bite it if it doesn't <laughs> stop biting me. I'm just gonna be like, ah, just some struggles with a grumpy snake. I'm going to cast Speak with Animals. <laughs> Word, please calm down and stop biting, Buck. I really wanted to go outside that window. <laughs> We're going to go outside in a minute when we leave anyway. Let's go outside. All right, he wants to go outside, Hold everybody. Hold on, I don't trust this man. One second. Um... <laughs> I, can I use a rope to make a little leash for the flying <laughs> He's so itty bitty. I think that'll yes. just weigh him down so He's much so he itty, can't tiny, even fly. Tiny, tiny He's just a little guy. I just don't want to lose our friend. I would say you could probably string it around like where his head meets his neck, where it's going to be the, its... the skinniest yeah, part I'm of making, his body. I'm making a little like long <laughs> leash for this guy so he can still fly, but. I, I'm rope? not letting them fly away. Fritz, don't tell. Rope? Uh, Fritz is worried that you're, she's going to lose you into the upper stratosphere if we don't. Also, those currents are really strong. Yes, also, it's a very windy city and you're very small. I'm upset. <laughs> He's upset. I'm still, I'm still holding it. <laughs> uh... Are you poisonous? Do I'm not taking poison damage, am I? No, yeah, no, that was a, all poison that's a damage. Single oh. poison injection. It's no, it, it's one piercing damage plus three d four poison damage. Uh, I don't think it makes you poisoned. It's just okay. no, it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. This, this is this. I wanted to just all we had to do was shave my back and fashion a beard. <laughs> no, no, I think this is really selling the illusion. Nobody will believe this is our teammate. Yeah, this will draw any suspicion to us at all. I turn and Fritz is fashioning a leash for our flying snake. I'm the leader. She's had this the whole time, obviously. I'm in charge. I'm, Fritz, what, you it's... want me to be an irresponsible snake owner? No, I'm saying from now They're on- They're called snowners. You wanted him, you're gonna have to take- It's your responsibility. You're gonna have to clean up after him, Play and rough. you're gonna have to take him on walks. Play Flats. Yeah, yeah. Already? How are you already hungry? And I want to fly. Well, he's so far indistinguishable from his usual personality, so I consider this a rousing success. <laughs> All right, let's just get to the let's get the leash on him. Let's right. just put him in a box. Library. So you guys, you guys head out of your room, and you can see Elmira is actually standing there with like a little box, like of Tupperware, and uh, <laughs> she's him, she's holding it. <laughs> I heard you were having trouble with your snake pet, so I got you some kibble. Perhaps it may calm him down. That's very yeah. kind of you. Thank you. Yes, I'm I definitely want some. <laughs> I'm 
going to like hold my hand out really flat so you don't bite it. Roll animal handling. <laughs> Am I? Don't move your hand too fast or I'll bite you. <laughs> Am I rolling animal handling? Uh, I so, guess uh, if, I if Logan, I mean, up to you guys. This is player versus player rolling. It's oh, player consent whoops. rolls. Okay. Well, um, this is going to be a yeah, wild bit to commit to anytime I polymorph any of you for anything. <laughs> T-Rex knows nothing of plot or <laughs> team loyalty. T-Rex simply <laughs> hungers for flesh. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take the snacks. I'll calm down. Yeah. Now there's a good noodle. <gasps> oh. <laughs> it's amazing. I, I have no idea what she's saying. <laughs> she steps aside and hands one. you the rest of the box. You have a box of, of snake kibble. <laughs> snibble, <laughs> also known as. Snibble. And snibble, too. Snibble. Yeah. So happy! I'm such a proud snake owner right now. <laughs> well, I think that went about as well as could have been expected. <laughs> I'm gonna eat one of my gladiator donuts that I still have. <laughs> <laughs> Just the stalest donut. <laughs> oh God, gladiator! That's from Nuba Sky. That must be so moldy <laughs> now. Is it bad? Oh. It's do they have what? an expiration it's, date? It tastes fine, or does it not taste fine? <laughs> it's like powdered. <laughs> Taking more poison Dude, damage. HP. <laughs> okay. Oh, buddy. What? Don't look at me. We didn't eat anything yet today. Was it that color before? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, it, I just kept it in there for... You guys are playing with a flying snake that's on a leash, so maybe just leave me alone while I eat my donut. <laughs> No, you guys. Oh boy! You guys had <laughs> your way. You say snake. I'm allowed to eat the donut. <laughs> <laughs> the rotten moldy donut. You turn word into a snake. Let's just go to the library and not ask any more questions. Let's be 100% clear. Word consented to being turned into a snake. No, I get that. <laughs> I didn't consent to being bitten a bunch of times because we weren't sure that he was gonna lose his his cool as a snake. Yes, I'm learning a lot of interesting things about this spell. I'm so glad. What a day for learning this is. <laughs> Rubs we haven't even gotten to the library dying. yet. <laughs> we haven't even gotten out of the room yet. <laughs> no. You guys head to Aguna's Grand Library after some morning shenanigans. <laughs> and uh, you meet Mr. Maranzio Santaloria out front, and he gives you a greeting. Ah, good morning, pilgrims. I'm grateful that you've accepted my invitation, though I couldn't help but notice that you are one member short. I assume he was out on errands yesterday, but would surely join you here. Will Mr. Word be with us? Ah, uh, yes, I, I'm afraid he's, uh, he's been rather permanently indisposed, unfortunately, but... I like flying. <laughs> Sometimes I can still hear his voice. I'm a snake. <laughs> he puts. I, I love, like Lyra's trying to be all serious. He's like, I like black in your ear because you're probably still so flying. Speak with animals. That's <laughs> well, just you. He puts one hand to his chest. Oh, that is so. I'm so deeply sorry for your loss. Yes, well, we must. Carry well, then, on into the people. library, then. Into the library. <laughs> And he leads you inside. I keep my, I keep my head down from the, uh, the administrator. Who is the person that was? Diego. Diego. Who is there <laughs> oh, and sees you yeah. come in. Contact. The one who's cosplaying Vash the Stampede. I remember this guy. And sees you come in and he uh, closes his book at the sight of the bugbear coming in the building. Do be careful about that one, Maranzio. He likes to snoop. And Maranzio waves and shakes his hand. Oh, no worries, Diego. I'll keep a close watch on him. Besides, I need him for very important dragon pilgrim business. So don't you worry. Diego rolls his eyes and just uh, <laughs> shakes his head, goes back to his book. But every now and then glances back at word. Buck. <laughs> or uh, Buck, buck or rather. Or... At, okay, at okay. Buck, sorry. <laughs> but word. But word. Now then, if you'll step this way, and uh, here, let me show you the library. Ooh, the library. Yes. Yep. Oh, the library. The library. <gasps> hmm. The fact that it has a mini-map does not inspire confidence in me. <laughs> and if only word wasn't the same. <laughs> <laughs> and inside the library, it smells of old parchment and books and a little bit of dust. There are some things here that are likely older than the kingdom itself. And um, he leads you to the back of the 
uh, top the, uh, I guess this is the lobby, onto what looks to be a teleportation circle. Okay. Well, may as well. Boop. Yeah. Yep. You all step in, and uh, you see I'm that this too. in the circle, mm-hmm. there are sigils uh, that kind of have numbers on them, one going up, one do- going down. And he <laughs> leans down and traces his fingers along the circular dial-like ring on the outer edge until it frames a bright border around the number seven. Mm. And then after, Magic vision, elevator. after a few seconds, your vision flashes and you're transported to the seventh floor of the library. The televator. Oh, that's good. The televator. All right, and <clears throat> shoot. There we go. Hmm. Oh the lack of the, the vision cones are also in not here. inspiring <laughs> confidence. No, it do, is. Do snakes have uh, uh, dark vision? No, you will uh, not require you have dark blind vision. sight to ten feet. Actually, what the heck? Okay. Oh, <laughs> mm. but I, I don't sense. have dark vision. No, this is not a dark vision. This is merely line of sight. So there are walls that you cannot see past in this library. Um, <laughs> like roar. And uh, Maranzio steps out, holds out a staff, and fires out a heavy glowing orb that slowly floats across the room, lighting up each alley of bookshelves um, and kind of coming back and forth throughout the halls of, of shelves. And it comes back to his staff, goes zoop, back into it. Good. We're alone on this floor. Everyone wants to see what's past the third floor, but after floor six, they tend to lose interest and just jump to the double digits. We're alone here. And he goes and takes a seat at one of the tables. Interesting. These vision cones are extremely cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sit over here. <clears throat> Yes. Lyra oh, I see. Long table f- full of... Come sit next to me, Lyra. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> full of a few things, just various different papers, some books that have been laying around that people didn't decide to put back, some old mugs that someone just dis- kind of left here. So Thankfully it's not so much that this. So it's not so much that this is like a forbidden floor, such that it's just that there's no one on it, right? Yeah, now. there's no one on okay. it right now. Uh, okay. As he mentioned, no one's really interested at past the first few floors before jumping to double digits. <clears throat> there's 200 floors in this library. They tend to mm-hmm. favor a few. And he looks around one last time and kind of takes his hat off and speaks to you cordially. From here onwards, all our verbal communication should be safe from any eavesdropping, magically anyway. Aguna's Grand Library contains some of the most sacred and important pieces of information in the whole of Olympia, so the most skilled mages have made sure to keep that information safe, including the study and discussion of it. Also, a reason why we try to keep the security top-notch, even against those who would wish to come in here. It's the best place to organize crime, since nobody's going to know about it, not even the admins. Huh. So what is it exactly that you wanted to speak to us about? Now then. Yes, business at hand. I have been following you, Pilgrims, for quite some time. Being as this is going to be my first decade as Dragon, you may congratulate me, thank you, I wanted to be as well informed and prepared as possible, not realizing that you were uncovering likely the deepest conspiracy I've seen in the kingdom's history. I know about the plot, I know about old Deosia, and I know that the Lords have a hand in the Underthrown Society. But what I do not know is how it all perfectly fits together, as likely you are struggling with the same. However, the final piece of the puzzle are out of my reach. Deep in the depths of the library are the bottom five floors, where Alinthi's most well-protected secrets are held, of which not even the dragons are allowed to go into. Not just without supervision, we're not allowed in, period. The self-same magic that has awakened the powers of the dragon in me have attached to it a hex that prevents me from reaching those floors, as the teleportation circles simply do not work on me. I am barred permanently. But to you all, you have no such hexes on you. As I know for a fact, it's far too expensive a spell to cast on just about anyone. So, while I can assist in getting you to floor 195, the rest will be up to you. It seems that your pet snake is wandering over to the books. <laughs> Help! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna he just have to play. Sorry. Play. Just he pull, I'm gonna pull him back a bit. Like, 
So show me up to come on. <laughs> <laughs> Probably want to listen to this. I know your brain doesn't understand right now. Can the, can the snake not sit by me? Can can the snake be by you? Yeah, just not too far. So you guys are just gonna keep word in his uh, in his snake form for this whole. Well, briefing? we're probably coming up on an hour, especially if it took us a while to get out the door. Oh, I'll let yeah. I'll uh, let you decide. Ex- no, it is also a concentration it. spell, and I can drop concentration on it any time, and I think that makes him Do you revert reveal back. That they're do you trust this person? Uh. They see. They. It's not like we have anything to hide from this person. If they. Well, <laughs> I am mildly curious. You say you've been following us, and you know a great many things that were quite private at the time. Have we been subject to some sort of magical scrying, perhaps? I. Well, perhaps a bit. I do apologize for the invasion of privacy, but. After the laws are keeping a lot from me, I, I wanted to investigate what was going on with Pavita in Trevisetta. You see, mm. we are privy to some information about the goings-on in the kingdom so as w- to be able to perform our duty better and not be caught off guard. And Pavita does not strike me as someone who would do the thing that she did without good reason. I investigated further and, well, as you po- probably have the same experience, was told to stop dead in my tracks. And I believe the lords have something to hide. And so I look further. Mm. A dragon like you must be a nightmare for them. <laughs> a bit. He smirks a little bit. Mm. Well, Let's say that we go ahead and we find, we go through these top floors and we find whatever it is we're looking for. But, I mean, what are you hoping to get out of all this? I'm hoping to reveal the truth. I have deep suspicions that my powers are ill-gotten. All my life I've tried to study and cultivate my power with my own gumption. But knowing that it might have been stolen, it doesn't sit right with me. And what if that, this revelation, I think we've all come to understand. I look at like Lara and Fritz Mm -hmm. and the the snake. Um, (laughs) We've come to understand that perhaps if we go along with this, we risk the way of life of Alinthi as we've known it. I mean, that could include the library, right? It could he, this whole town. Unfortunately, it could include far more than the library. The power of the dragon is intrinsically linked to the power of the tree, and this city is quite literally built on its foundations. I've been rather unable to reconcile what might occur if the truth comes out. He leans back and takes a deep breath. Those are all concerning possibilities that I've come to myself, but it's quite the complex question, isn't it? I could give you a myriad of answers, philosophize and debate to truly show off my grand intellect and well-readedness, but really, I feel like this is the right thing to do. I suppose I can't argue with that. Now then, what you will be searching for, I cannot quite say, but what you will have to be prepared for is in the final five floors, there are weaponized automatons that are tasked with patrolling the halls for anyone without proper clearance, of which you will not have. Be wary, they are extremely durable to both physical and magical means, commissioned by the lords to be built by Dragon Sergei of Pelitros himself, the bloody oh bastard. No disrespect to the man, quite the opposite, but uh, you've seen his work. Yes, that'll be rather challenging. Now then, what you will be looking for... Uh, in my studies of both Alinthi and Old Deosia, I found damning information and all that good stuff. But my the primary thing that I think you will be have to look for is a the origins of the history of which seems wonky in my studies. What little there is to claim to be a primary source have not been able to trace their origins. A first edition, for example. Those will likely be kept in those bottom five floors. Uh, here's a copy for reference, and he pulls out of his robes a copy of War with Diosia, Volume 1, Draft 2. Ooh. This was written about 200 years ago. The first draft is likely one that will reveal the final piece of the puzzle we're looking for, but odds are there is likely much more down there that may help us. I'm sure whatever piece de resistance there is down there, you'll likely know what it is when you find it. Well, we were certainly hoping to get the chance to explore the library in further depth. How lucky you are, then. Now then, any further questions? Uh, is there any rules about, I mean, t- 
are there if if we should come upon information up there or should look for information that's not necessarily pertaining to our direct quest is there any problem with that i guess what i'm getting at is are there any books up there that we should be mindful of not reading like anything that has my, some sort of magical ability or curse i'm just concerned that if there's stuff up there it could be dangerous to us to be quite honest i wish i had a better answer for you my lord but uh as i said i have no experience for those final five floors odds are they probably are you might find a myriad of cursed books and forbidden magics and paraphernalia and all the like i can't say I just well. say, be wary of what you open. At the very least, you won't have any threat of destroying the whole library, as this whole thing has some of the most best-made protective magics to make sure that we don't lose the whole thing in a fire or something. Ah, that is a considerable relief. <laughs> yes, yes, great resistance spells cast on every single page in here. I mentioned the House Baztan kind of trying to get in the way. Ah, oh, yes, House Baztan. I smelled them from miles away. They seem to be skulking about in the shadows, as they always do. I've tried to yes. inform the lords to try and keep their business out of our province, but uh, apparently they seem to be turning a blind eye, as it were. Yes, House Baztan seems to have somewhat considerable magical surveillance capabilities, which is rather disconcerting. But fortunately, they're also very incompetent, so it sort of balances out. Luckily, not a concern you'll have to have in here. Yes. But do keep in mind, although you're protected from magical means from the outside, those inside can still hear you. So if you find yourself on the same floor as some opponents, be wary. Hmm. Well, I think that about covers all my bases. Very good, then. Anyone else? How do we get to, we just, we just run that circle up to 195 and take the stairs, or? Ah, well, right. Here, then. Thanks to my position, I can get you there. But like I said, the rest will be up to you. Follow me, then. And he steps over to the teleportation circle and turns the dial all the way around to floor 200, yeah. or 195. This baby goes to 11. <laughs> And uh, he steps back out of it to make room for the rest of you. Well, I'll get in there. <laughs> yep. What's Ooh. still a little snake? <laughs> <laughs> Can I write um, really quickly since we're by... It looks like we're by like paper and stuff. Before I walk over there, can I write uh, a, the name of the person that I was looking for um, on it? On uh -huh. a piece of paper. Ooh. Yeah. And then just go up to, oh God, I had his name written. Maranzio? But I can't, Maranzio. Maranzio. Um, by the way, while we're doing this, I had some issues with um, Administrator Diego. I'm looking for someone who I suspect might be in the city. Um, this is their name, if you don't mind. Um, if checking on them is something that you wouldn't mind doing. See if they've been through here, checked out a book he sometime recently. looks at it, pulls down his glasses. Ah, chasing after shadows, are we? <laughs> I don't know what that's um, supposed to mean. Or, uh, she mentioned you might do something like this. Oh. oh. And he puts Did... puts one hand on your shoulder and just kind of shakes his head and chuckles. I'll see what I can do, friendo. Friend, thanks, friend, friendo. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh Where's the snake at? Gotta make sure we get the snake <laughs> in the. <middle. laughs> I actually want hey, to. Me... Just fully in somebody's so like coffee cup. <laughs> yeah, I'm like drinking old tea. Yeah, just. <laughs> his, little, his little snake metabolism is gonna be overloaded with caffeine. <laughs> or snetabolism, as it's called. <laughs> Snabolism. Okay. I actually, I Oops, have one more request. Um, yeah. Could you. Could you make uh, I now I'm not saying I am meant to partake in certain illegal acts in my defense didn't know they were illegal. Um <laughs> could you 
That's Make most sure of my huh? ace. It does okay. I feel bad. I got one of the students in trouble. Oh, ace! The Kenku troublemaker. What father is the lord? Yes, I can make sure he doesn't get in as much Ooh. trouble. His father is... His father's the Lord? Did we know that? Was that Fritz, did you get the Lord's kid arrested? Whoa. No, he... We had some fun, <laughs> and he crashed, and I tried to help, and I crashed. Did you get him so... killed? Did you No, 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 no. You oh. think I would get someone killed? <laughs> I'm sorry, I... <laughs> It's been a complicated couple of days. Anything is possible. I, no, we just had some fun racing, and he crashed, and I tried to help him, but I was not the most graceful at landing. I've never been. So we got in trouble together. He didn't get arrested or anything, but I feel bad, seeming I was the one that may or may have not egged him on into the race. Moranzio tips his hat a little bit. I will be sure that his tongue lashing is of the gentler sort. Thank you. I feel bad. I. Well, if he's managed to make friends, if he's managed <laughs> to make friends with one such as you, then I think his character might be turning for the better. <laughs> huh. one of those. I don't know if he would consider me a friend, but I think of him as a friend. <laughs> well, if you've seen the folk that he. Uh, hangs around with you'd struggle to find you'd struggle to call them friends as well be kind, be gentle with the boy will you we'll see yes <laughs> he shrugs his shoulders good enough good luck pilgrims <laughs> i look forward to seeing the fruits of your labor and he kind of stomps his uh staff on the ground the teleporter takes you and just as you do uh, word while you're in snake form, Moranzio just uh, gives a little wink at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I knew from the moment I saw his purple eyes that he could probably see everything. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to call the session there since yeah! uh, Yay! the next session you will dun, be exploring dun, 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 the dun. Aguna Library, uh, of which I do not have prepared now because what you did in this session will affect what happens Whoa. in how the dungeons what? would have been formed as well. So, <gasps> what have we done? <laughs> so, shorter session today, but next time we will explore the rest of the library.